heavenly place with incredible wildlife, rich in coal and tanzanites. This place has all that you can imagine. Clean roads, clean air, minerals, and one of the best climates in the world. But has staggering poverty. This place is so rich in its natural resources, yet is riddled with unbelievable poor economic development. This, dear audience, is the paradox of plenty. Now you must be wondering, just as I am, how a place can be so wealthy yet so underdeveloped. Now you, 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 and I know the answer to that question. Corruption. Real easy. We always talk about corruption. To all the leaders that are going to listen to this talk, I have a question. When are you going to fulfill the promises that you keep giving your people? For example, when will the R Great Rift Valley Bridge be built? When will we have quality education? The question is when. Hi, my name is Kushbu Kotak and this is my TED Talk. What I just described to you is our mighty continent known as Mama Africa. She is hopeful, she is powerful, and most importantly, she's united. Let us narrow it down to the East African community, also known as the EAC, and what is the most recent phenomenon that has brought countries in the EAC together. The East African Community Passport is the one. It is a document that reaffirms and unifies the EAC citizens in its six constituent countries. Let me tell you a story. Not so long ago, about 10 years ago, when I was seven, my parents and I decided to move to Malawi the primary reason for our shift was the economic opportunities that they thought it would offer. But we were faced with fluctuating currency rates. Because as we know, the Malawi currency, known as the Kwacha, isn't the strongest enough amongst the African countries. And the journey was so contingent on their probability of obtaining a working permit just a mere working permit to work. Let's retrace our steps back and talk about the eco-currency, which is the unified West African currency, which is supposed to be implemented in July of this year. My proposition is to introduce an East African currency to unify all the six countries. Did you know that Kenya's beautiful island, Mombasa, is a bustling tourist hub? Uganda's crater lake, Rwanda's high technological advancements, Burundi's culture, South Sudan wildlife, wildlife, and Tanzania's jewels. Six booming economic sectors make up to 170 billion US dollars as GDP. Mind boggling, right? Now, I'd like you to visualize the East African empire with socio-economic infrastructure development and high technological advancements. Let's visualize it. In my opinion, the first step to achieving this vision is through the very single currency. Because we have the power and the capability of achieving and implementing this one currency. 
which will catapult us into creating this very plausible future. Our march to freedom will begin when we materialize the immense benefits that this one currency has to offer. Let's take a look at Rwanda. Rwanda has come from such an unfortunate place, the Rwandan genocide, and today, amongst the African countries, has extremely high technological advancements. In fact, a company known as ARED provides low-cost tech solutions to low-income households. Which, you know, shows the benevolence, the caring nature of our leaders. Maybe they're putting their greed aside for, you know, for their people for once. And so if we have this one currency, it creates a home away from home for the non rwandese who would like to explore the different natures of employment. This also shows that there would be an increase in mobility of goods. It is inevitable that with the convergence of the six thriving economies, the GDP rates are going to increase abundantly. Let's do the math. An increase in GDP means an increase in production rates. Now we know it's not all roses, you know. And, and so in order to combat growth volatility rates, a program or something known as microfinancing can be introduced, which is giving low interest loans, which will benefit local communities. And it also acts as a corrective measure so that one country doesn't have an advantage or a disadvantage over the other. Price, transpar price transparency as a result of a single monetary union will incentivize medium and small enterprises to extend their markets within the single currency area. This, in turn, is going to increase trade and investment. And all this would be possible with the one single stable currency. But reality always throws us back and hits us in the head. And I can fathom what you must be thinking. How can this ever be possible with the systematic flaws that surround us? But isn't it always worth a try to keep on constantly improving our environment and where we live in? I talked about microfinancing being an advantage of to you know, a corrective measure, but it also has its disadvantage, which is it can cause countries to have a mounting debt. And so countries need to take necessary precautions to combat these mounting debts. And one necessary precaution that a country could take is banks can set pro uh, production targets and so once those targets are met, then the loans can be increased. So it kind of reduces the debt that a country is put in. Now inflation rates is also one disadvantage when you'd like to, you know, create a one currency. And so I mentioned having one currency in East Africa. And in East Africa, we have six different countries. And amongst these six different countries, five out of six of them have the lowest inflation rates below 5%. So it is a very possi uh, possible thing. Now, if you can recall, I began this talk with the word imagine. I'd like you to imagine the most perfectly salted fries or the most perfectly topped burger with just the right amount of cheese. Mmm, you can almost taste it, am I right? 
You see, imagination is more than just a utopia that you create with your mind. It is more than an alternate reality. Imagination propels us into thinking about the unknown. We have that power. Let's use our imagination to help build on this vision, unity through a single currency.